One of my favorite reality TV shows today is Undercover Boss. I think this show demonstrates leadership perfectly. For those of you who have never seen the show, large corporate CEOs or senior management go undercover in their own organizations to analyze their processes, see what things can be improved, and of course, to identify key individuals in their organizations that make a difference for the company every day. It's a great watch if you're interested in how leaders lead. One of the best parts is to see the CEOs working behind the counter, out in the front lines, out in the plant, cleaning the floors, actually doing the fundamental purposes of the company. What makes it funny is no one knows it's the boss. And then later to see some of the staff interviewed about his or her performance and they'd say, well, I'd never hire that individual. Or even in some cases, well, they actually sometimes say that this is not the business for them. Yet these very individuals are at the top of the leadership behind the companies. But what we can learn from this is the primary skill good leaders have. And maybe what really makes them good leaders. John Wax Maxwell, famous motivational leadership speaker and author, I believe says it all in the title of his latest book. Good leaders ask great questions. You see, this is what it's all about. My job as CEO is to ensure that the services we offer are the best they can be. Ensure that we are looking in the right places for new, innovative approaches and guide the overall vision of the organization. I'm not here to be the expert in every facet of our operation. When issues come across my desk, my job is to ask great questions and hopefully inspire a solution from my staff. You see, there are no answers unless first there are questions. A division of my organization escorts visitors through an automotive manufacturing facility here in our community. I have 11 individuals off-site at the plant welcoming visitors on behalf of the manufacturer and driving them through a 3 million square foot plant in a 30 foot long tram with 20 or so people in it, weaving in and around assembly lines, welding shops, and of course press room aisles. I'm quite confident I would not be the one in my organization that should be doing that function. And I know beyond a shadow of a doubt I shouldn't be training anyone to do it either. I have people who know that job well and are the experts. So what makes a good leader? I agree with John Maxwell. Is a person who recognizes themselves as a person that doesn't have all the right answers to all of the issues but the one who encourages and inspires others to find those answers through asking great questions. The word itself, leadership, I think, says it all. It's about leading, not pulling. It's about inspiring, not telling. It's every leader's job to demonstrate what a real leader is. When I have a staff member that comes to me with a question, I find that solution by asking questions of them. And in the end, they themselves find the solution and feel like they've found it themselves as well. And I believe that's what leadership is. So how do leaders become great leaders? Well, by asking great questions. When leaders meet with people they've never met before, when they meet with other leaders from different areas of life, Maxwell says there are seven questions he thinks are important for every great leader to ask. They are questions that in spite of his wealth of knowledge, and skill as a leader, make him an even better leader and will make you a better leader as well. You see, good leaders ask great questions. Leaders get to the conclusions and solutions not on their own, but by asking questions. Asking questions makes you a purveyor of knowledge. Snippets of information you have that maybe not many do. I have a 13 year old daughter and she says, Daddy, you are so smart. I can ask you a question and you seem to have the right answer all of the time. Well, I ask a ton of questions every single day of people I come in contact with. It's all I seem to do sometimes is ask questions. So I don't have the, all, all the answers, but I know enough about an awful lot of things so that I can ask great questions to draw out the right answers. I tell her, no, Maddie. I am not really smart, just smart enough to know that in order to lead others, I need others to answer my questions. 
John Maxwell's book, Good Leaders Ask Great Questions, has the seven questions he asks every great leader he meets. But maybe, maybe he might tell you this too. Find your own great questions. Aim to be that leader that leads. Aim to be the good leader who asks great questions. I'm Greg DeRocher, and that's a moment for business.